Boo! Boo! Hey everyone, welcome back to the Osmer Pop channel. Today we're going to be making Wagyu cow cookies. Just kidding, they're not Wagyu. Tried to be all fancy. But we will be making cow cookies. Before we jump into it, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any awesome videos. Alright, let's get ready to crumble! <laughs> Sorry, that was lame. Okay, so you're going to need 3 tablespoons of butter. You'll also need 2 teaspoons of sugar. Toss the sugar into this bowl. Let's also add a pinch of salt. Now let's use a whisk to mix this all up. In the beginning, you're going to feel like these ingredients will never mix together, but don't worry. Give it some time and be patient. Woo! There we go. Alright, now let's add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We'll also add 3 tablespoons of condensed milk. Ooh, very gooey. Mix this all up again until we get a smooth, creamy batter. There we go. Now we need to add a 3 fourth cup of cake flour. I'm going to sift it in. If you have a sifter, I would highly recommend using it because you don't want any clumps. Now I'm going to mix this around until we get this to look like cookie dough. Using a spatula in the beginning is nice. You don't have to get your hands all dirty, but eventually you will have to use your hands. If you don't like getting your hands dirty, use a glove. Simple fix. Okay, now I'm just gonna knead the dough for a bit. Perfect, here's our cookie dough. Now let's transfer this over to a pan, flatten it a bit. Alright, now we need to grab a piece of this dough to make details for our cow cookies. You just need a little piece like this. And then you want to separate this small piece in half. We're going to use these two pieces to make the cow spots. Alright, so we're going to add half a tablespoon of cocoa powder onto the cookie doughs. Evenly distribute it. Now we just have to mix the two dough pieces up until we get a nice brown color. So it would be pretty boring if we use the same colored spots for all the cows. So we'll make another color with the other dough. First, we need to do the same thing we did before and mix in the powder. So far, everything is pretty simple, right? I know I always say this, but this is a really easy recipe and I promise you, the cookies are delicious. I'll be doing a taste test for you later, but I've already tried these cookies before and I crumble. Okay, that was the last crumble joke. Where were we? Oh yeah, the colors. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna add some food coloring. We're using black. We'll get a darker brown color, but later it'll turn black. Yep, so we have a light brown and dark brown cookie dough. Now let's place the regular cookie dough on a piece of parchment paper. Put another parchment paper on top. Now let's use a rolling pin to roll out this dough. You want to make this dough nice and thin. Now we're just going to grab little chunks of this brown dough and place it on top of our flat cookie dough. Don't worry about the shapes, they can all be different sizes. Now let's do the same with the dark brown dough. Perfect! Now place another piece of parchment paper on top. And you just want to flatten the spots. I'm sorry if some of you guys are freaked out by this. What's that called? Tripophobia? I think I kind of have that too. Cause some things really irk me out. But this one's not really tripping me out, so I think you'll be okay. Unless if yours is serious, then I'm sorry. Just fast forward. Okay, flatten the spots. Now let's use this cow cookie cutter. This right here is actually the most important item. You will need a cow cutter to make this happen. Duh. So if you don't have one of these, you might want to buy one before making this. Don't worry, they're really easy to find online. Now let's just start cutting out our cow shapes. Give me a minute. Now let's just remove all this extra cookie dough. 
you have to be a bit careful when picking up the shapes because the cookie dough is very thin. Now let's check out this brown cow. Beautiful. Okay, got all of our cow cookies on a baking pan. Let's go to the oven. You want to set the oven to 320 degrees, and these cookies are very thin, so you only need to bake for 10 minutes. After the cookies have cooled, you should get these nice crispy cookies. Here's a closer look at our cow with black spots. And here's a closer look at our cow with brown spots. Now you can just eat those cookies and they'll taste delicious. But if you want to take it to the next level, ice cream is always the right call. We'll be using some birthday cake ice cream. Let's use this cow cutter again. A spatula will probably work best, but it might break off a bit. That's not a problem though. As long as the shapes don't get messed up, you can reassemble the ice cream cow on the cookie. Like this. We're missing the feet, so let's add a little bit of ice cream here. Awesome! Now let's put another cookie on top. And we just made a cow ice cream sandwich cookie. Woo! Doesn't this look amazing? Okay, let's make another one using the brown cow. Alright, you know what time it is. We're having an ice cream party. Moo! 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 I love making cow noises. I don't know why. Alright, let's do a little taste test. We'll start with the black cow. Oh my gosh, that's so good. The cookie is nice and buttery, and the ice cream provides a creamy texture. Some of you might think the cookies are too dry, so the ice cream definitely helps. Now let's try the brown cow. Obviously, there's no difference in taste, so I'm just eating this again because I want to. Mmm, moolicious. Okay, that was super lame, but this one's really good. Best simple ice cream sandwich cookie out there. Trust me. Awesome or pop fans, thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!